Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm here this week with Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. Sounds so excited, Anna. I am excited. Yes. I have an important announcement to, for, for you two. Okay. Happy anniversary, you guys. Oh, yeah? Uh, this Happy is like anniversary. year three of microcasters this week. Oh man, God, you make us feel old. I well, just, just like in my I'm marriage, old. I managed to forget our anniversary, so <laughs> you don't have to feel special. You forgot your anniversary? One of those I forget my anniversary years. every year. This year, I had a reason, Lucas. All right, fair enough. You might want to mark yeah. that one on your calendar. Just saying. Well, okay, so ironically, I performed the wedding of one of my students the day, day after or day before? Day after I got married. So I keep my invite to her wedding so that I remember when my own anniversary date is. Cool. I, I have not had that trouble myself, so. I'm not really good with dates or times or... My uh, I don't, yeah, my I don't know wife what a forgot. specific date is, but it's sometime this week. It was the week between Christmas and New Year's, and that's where we are now. Well, perfect. Well, merry anniversary to us. There you go. We did it. Three years. Yeah. We've now talked about hundreds of toys. That's true. This is like 150 ish shows. Wow. Yeah. That's Apparently, we're supposed to talk about Rob, I guess. Um, but only positive things. Only only positive things. So. Yes. Are we are we reviewing Rob? Is he a new release? I, <laughs> I, I think we should. Okay. So. This is the team tonight. Is the Rob action figure. Here you go. No, we, we are reviewing the toy of the year. The toy of the year, according now, to Hasbro. What's that joke? I, I don't get it. Oh, so when they did joke. the fan, the Hall of Fame voting early this year, there's like, you know, who makes it in? What character makes it in? I don't remember who made it in. And they were like, oh, and what's your favorite Kingdom toy of the year? And everyone was like, Tigatron, even though he had not come out for, you know, he wouldn't be out for another two or three months after that. So everyone was like, yay, Tigatron's my favorite, but he's not here. Oh, awkward. Yeah, none of us he's had not. him. No one had him. They're like, yeah, well, just the recently, recently he's really started US showing up in stores. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. But now we all three have him. Yes, I, he's here now. I, I will say that I, I feel like as Transformers fans, we're always looking forward to the next thing, you know? So, like, now we're looking forward to Legacy, whatever. So, maybe that was the thing, was, is it's, like, everyone Could was, be. like, oh, Tigatron, like, looks really neat. Like, not like that junky Cheetor, so. It's true. Not like that junky Cheetor. Yeah. Or the less junky Shadow Panther. I forgot I actually have that Shadow Panther. I haven't even opened that up yet. Yeah, so, as is tradition, we'll start in alt mode. I have mine in cat mode, and Lucas has his in cat mode. We so go. we have a cat and Woo. like, okay. So I spent a lot of time since I got shadow Panther playing with it. Like I actually do enjoy playing with this toy. Like the, the robot mode is fun enough. The cat mode is actually more fun to me than the robot mode. Like I just like it's having just a little white cat toy. Huh? It's just Roxy. <laughs> it is. There it is. Go. It's Roxy action figure. And I do like having it around. I made it interact with my bat a lot when I get Dracula. So it's a fun thing to have around. For some reason, Tigatron is a much better looking large cat because he's muscular. Like, I think that makes a big difference in how he right. looks as a large cat. They actually put musculature on his legs, whereas yeah. the, the Cheetor mold looks a little, a little thin. He needs to do some cat exercises. But the, the loss for it to me is it doesn't feel like it's supposed to move. Like, I know it does have about as much articulation as the Cheetor mold does, but it just doesn't feel as good moving. It feels more like a statue to me. I mean, and, you know, it's all about appearances s- and how it feels. It's very similar. It's very similar. Very similar. Like, it's pretty much, I don't know. Like, I don't really think that it's really any any different. I do feel like 
that the back legs feel weirder to me. Like they feel more curved. Like even though the back legs of Cheetor are curved as well. Like, I don't know. Maybe it just blends in because it doesn't have these like, of course, I guess the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, this one, this one, I guess does the regular release. I have my back legs made super straight right now. They're not curved at all. I don't know. They just feel some good posture. They they feel curved to me. I I mean I I agree that like in cat mode it 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 seems weird. It's like I I mean I think that this is the case of both the molds in my opinion that I just can't get great poses out of. I mean it's 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 fine. It's whatever. Yeah, it's a lot of these beast modes have been a lot more statues than I expected them to be. And I feel like he is very statuesque, which is a compliment usually in our language. But also, I just feel like I'm not supposed to move him. Like, and, you know, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. I think he looks like a really good tiger. Like, he does, in fact, capture most things I expect from a tiger. So the one thing I will say, too, about, like, I was really worried about the um, the yellow on, on the figure too and i feel like in hand it doesn't look as bad as the picture so like to me this was at least like somewhat of a pleasant surprise but at the same time like i don't think it looks great but i don't think it looks horrible like i don't think it looks as bad as it does in pictures if that makes sense yes it is slightly better than the pictures but still unnecessary and i wish they hadn't done it see for me i think it's actually slightly worse than it was in the pictures because I don't think from the pictures I realized just how much of it there was I think from the pictures all I really realized is it was on his tiger face which to me just made it look like he was a smoker with a beard and he, he dyed his beard with his smoking but when it gets to his arms and arms and legs his forelegs all having it and especially the back of his body here the way it makes it so discontinuous <laughs> from the rest of the white that just doesn't look good at all because it isn't gradiated, right? There's right. no gradation between the white and the brown. It's just straight brown. I mean, that that's where I think it's it just seems weird because, like, like this part here does not have the, like, uh, on the back doesn't have it. But then, like, it does, like, over here and, like, on the back legs and on the legs here. So, it's like they essentially put it everywhere except for on the back. So, then, to me, I feel like that looks kind of weird. It does look kind of weird. What is it? Is that, like, a thing that these kinds of tigers have? Or is it supposed to be, like, mud or... I don't know. What my, I is it listen to this it. Is my thought is, is that, like, with all of these that they're trying to do some type of paint applications like to make them look more premium like battle damage kind of thing or just whatever and so i think that this is their like what they were trying and i think that like a lot of these paint apps just don't just don't work i mean it's the same thing with like the galvatron which you know now we're getting an unpainted version but like the uh you know a lot of this battle damage like i feel like the only battle damage that looked decent was on the netflix figures and i think everything else like whatever the the app they did on that but then i know i was watching a review of the um what is it the premium finish line for mm -hmm. takara mm -hmm. and i the megatron looks like garbage like it's like this pixelated damage i don't know it looks really weird I'll tell you what premium paint you put on a toy tiger. It's stripes. And it's stripes that aren't, like, discontinuous and blotchy in places like these are. Because mine actually has spots where there's little chips out of the stripes. But instead it has this brownness all over it. I would much rather it just had nice stripes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm contributing to the problem here, but I kind of hope they re-release this in you know not brown and rob you know, has said, Robert, had said two worry. different comments about it about how we're going to get a proper all-white version later and we probably sure. will 
<clears throat> we probably will get a vibrant white cartoon version or something I, like that. I, and... I don't think I'm in for that one. I did it on the Cheetor because I really did not like the regular version of that. Um, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to do it on this thing. I, I actually don't know. I'm a lot more bothered by the discoloration than I thought I would be. Because I, I really did think it was just on his face. And I thought I would just like pass it off as a joke to myself. And it would be funny. Tiger Tron smokes as a cat. And it's funny. I guess but you no. didn't see. Yeah, see no, like didn't I didn't look at his. No, I, I just. I don't know. In a lot of ways, like as soon as I established that a toy's good. I don't like to look at it too much more in pictures because I don't want spoilers. Uh, okay. So I just like I'm... he fixed the biggest problem I have with the cat mode on Cheetor, which is the the large cats are muscular thing, and hmm. I think it looks so much better in that way. So I think that kind of made me stop looking at it after that. Hmm. Go ahead, Kristen. I'm really attached to the character, and so I think if they did another version that was you know correct and didn't have the the brown. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it battle damage. I mean, maybe something else. You know, viewers, let me know if it's something else. But if they do a version without that brown paint application, I will probably pick that yeah. up too. Yeah, I might just because it it doesn't look so good to me. And I do I do think that he's fun looking cat. And I like cat toys. So well, the thing that's like kind of odd too is is like if you look on the front of his legs. There's this, sh um, it's kind of like a shiny, shimmering, like a, like a metal fleck that's in there, you know? And I actually think that looks really good. And I think that the turquoise paint looks really good on it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the paint looks good. It's like, otherwise... Like, so that's the thing that's frustrating is, is like, if they just hadn't done this crap on there... Yeah, it's got really great paint, and then they added the crap on top of it, which yeah, was but like what they should have done. The thing is, is it's the same thing with that Galvatron is um that like it actually cost them more money to add that crap you know it's the same thing with the seed figures it's like it's like adding those paint apps cost them money yet somehow it it's like i don't know like why do they why do they do that thanks ron we actually discussed the fact that this was the transformer of the year at the beginning of the show tonight we, we did the this is definitely the transformer of the year according to the voting <laughs> So, Christian, I want to ask you this question. So, why doesn't this go inside of him as a cat? <laughs> okay, so do you, you want to do you know the real answer? I have the real answer. The real answer is that he's mostly just a scaled up cheetor, and that didn't have a spot for it either, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> What's and your answer, though? <laughs> with, well, it's the it's the scuttlebutt from you know the, the people who leak things. But the scuttlebutt is that originally Tigatron was not a new mold <clears throat> and this Voyager slot was taken up by Polar Claw. But when Polar okay. Claw was erased and they decided to upscale Tigatron to be scale accurate, uh, Shadow Panther took his spot. So Tigatron got the new mold, Shadow Panther got the repaint slot, and they upscaled him, had some leftover, made the gut gun because it's supposed to be there. Right. But didn't add a place for it to be. There's a the more complicated answer. Okay. Do you think that in an accessory pack in the future, we'll get one for Cheetor? Uh, no, I don't think that. I would love okay. that, but no, I, I don't think so. I mean, the, the tooling exists. They just have to scale it down. True. True. Yeah, I, I don't... Probably not. It'd be kind of cool Maybe if that, did, but... that same pack would come with the slug figure of sludge i think man that whichever mob. one of the dinobots doesn't come with the galvatron pack that that rob and and those wonderful ideas apparently he says we should get rid of the uh pain apps and it needs more wonderful foil stickers thanks rob yeah that's that right hey, rob. we miss those we miss the stickers we all hated those stickers of the pack and a beast wars accessory pack and i'm gonna have to think about that one because i kind of like that idea like i, I just feel like you it could include be. it with i feel like transmutate would have been the one to put in that there's been another in the leak list there's been another accessory pack lately so what has there i haven't seen that leak yay oh oh the um red cog yeah yeah it comes with the accessory pack that doesn't mean that it's not going to be beast or it will be beast it just means it'll be toys 
Also supposed to be in Buzzworthy, I thought. Hmm. So Randy says he's pack. perfectly hmm. happy with this third party get gun for Cheetor. So there I think those third party ones have been pretty good, like they look neat. Yeah, I, have, I just haven't come around to getting one yet. It's not that I don't I don't like them or whatever. It's just I haven't done it yet. It no, was fun missed accessory. on that mold, though. It, like, it really did need it. But just like with this, there won't be a spot to put it in cat yeah. mode. We'll just mount it underneath like I did in this week's picture. Very freaky. Very freaky. But it says to do that in the box. It does. I, I read the instructions. I'm like, oh, yeah, gut right. gun. They're going to put it somewhere. No. We wear our organs on the outside now. Right. Yay! Maybe someone else's organs. So here's an explanation, right? The, they're, they're Cybertronians. They don't really get animals. He just thought that's where the guts went. He was just like, oh. Stomach's going to the outside. Cool. Yay. So. Humor aside, I'm glad the accessory is there because it is a fun part of the cat toy from Beast Wars. Yeah, it definitely needed it. And now it has it. And now it's in robot mode. Ooh. I mean, I, I feel like with all of these figures, I think that they probably do better in robot mode than they do in uh, their alt mode. So like... Almost I, consistently. For, like for the for these specific ones, for uh, the Beast Wars ones. So I think that like, to me, like I think that his robot mode, like, you know, looks good. So, I mean, obviously you can still see the like weird paint apps, but... It's not as bad. The turquoise but, looks nice. I I want to ask Anna a question because I've just noticed something that I feel like will destroy Anna's view of this toy. So if you don't want to destroy your view of this toy, stop me now. Did you not read the messages I was sending earlier? Cool. So he looks really great from the front, but if you uh -huh. turn him to the side, uh -huh. his shoulders and chest do not line up. <laughs> At all. At all. Just kind of obnoxious now that I've noticed it. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hung out with you for too long. But yeah, yeah I was going to say, who who displays them from the side, though, right? I no, it'll be display fine. a lot it's of my like, toys from the side. <laughs> right. Arg. Other than that, he is rather neat. Um, I don't have my Cheetor with me, but he does scale with Cheetor appropriately. Because Tigatron hair. is a bigger dude. I got my Cheetor right here. So Yeah. Big cat, little cat. It's adorable. They're they're buddies. So Christian, you have your your tiger head positioned pretty low on him. Yeah. It moves around a lot. Do you feel like that's a spot where it's supposed to be? Yeah, it, it, locks, locked in in. There. it locks okay. in. It locks in right there. The way he was packaged, it was positioned a lot higher. Yeah. And I hated it. It? <laughs> it looks a lot yeah, worse. This is where it's higher. In, so. Okay. Yeah, mine's mostly locked. But yeah, he's neat. Like Lucas said, the turquoise paint is good. I do wish the turquoise paint on this crotch plate matched the turquoise paint on this part because this is like nice and shiny metallic paint. Right. And it's the same as on the face, but anything that's like molded plastic turquoise, it's close, but it's missing that sheen. I think right. this is molded, and the shoulders are molded, and the joints are molded. It's very close, but it's missing a metallic sheen. I mean, I think I think it's fine. It, it's not my biggest complaint. <laughs> no, my biggest complaint is definitely still the uh, the brown nonsense. Right. Yeah, the brown is. <clears throat> it's His just face unexplainable. looks good, but I feel like Doctor Anna here because. It's very neutral, and I feel like it should have some other look than just plain old neutral. He has such a good face. He really just needs an expression. Like, yeah. he's a very fine, cat-like, but still noble-looking face. Yep. It would just be so much better with any expression. Even if it was, like, constipation, I'd be happier than this neutral uh, face. I, I probably like wouldn't join you part, on that one. But... Most of the mainline figures, they don't really give them expressions. Like... No, it's always neutral face. The seekers, Which is the I think, best way be... to go. But, like, also annoying in the end. I don't know. I kind of like happy expressions. I like happy expressions. I do, too. 
Um, his, I, he's not happy at all. He's very neutral. He's very neutral. Yeah. I just figured out that this figure has heel spurs because I just had mine folded up like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. He does have ankles. Does Cheetor have them? No. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, That's probably why I didn't do it. He he has like a heel spur kind of thing, but it's just molded in. Oh, okay. But yeah, these are heel spurs, and they're also five millimeter ports for some reason. So you can pull them out with his tail. Oh, so you can put the fossilizers on it. On his feet? Fossilizers on his feet? Why not? He can wear those cog foot extenders. (laughs) There you go. Okay. Organ gun. I suppose that'll work. But I mean, that's the tell. thing is, is like most of these of uh, the Beast Wars figures don't have that many five millimeter ports. So then it's like your fossilizers. Like, that's the other thing that I don't like. Another reason I don't like the fossilizers is because, like, you can't really dress up your Beast Wars figures with them. Yeah. Well, he has a couple then for his so, footsies. So you can do it for Tigertron, apparently. That's why he's the tour of the year. That's why he's toy of the year. Yeah. He's compatible yeah. with the... He has so, two extra five millimeter ports. He is, like, articulation-wise, what really gets me about this guy is articulation-wise, he's, like, super on point. Right? Like, yeah. his ankles are yeah, everything you'd want in an ankle. He's got the left and right. He's got the back and forth. He's got really good ankles. He's, he's got, got the, the wrist waist. articulation. He's got the waist articulation, the elbows, the shoulders. It's just all a little awkward just because of the way he's built. Just like Cheetor. Like, up in the chest area, like Christian said, from the side. Yeah. The discontinuity makes it a little rough. Cause I, the... I like it better than Cheetor. Like, I, I'm, I'm just going to say now. For sure. Cheetor Definitely is, better than Cheetor. In, in, in my opinion, is, like, the worst figure of the, of the Beast Wars figures. Like, if you're not counting fossilizers in the mix. I think he's I still better than Scorponok. Ooh, yeah, Scorponok, I've kind of forgotten. Like, I've kind of pushed that to the back of my memory. I need to get rid of that damn thing. Don't get it Three more of them. How are you going to get rid of Scorponok? I don't know. Charity. Toys for Tots already. It's like, it's already past Christmas, Ariana. Uh, You can still give kids toys, but it's not Christmas. (laughs) I still like them. I mean, you can, like... What random kid are you going to give a toy to? You It's like give a toy to a kid on the street. I know. Here, this kid. Not, see, Luke, it's, it would be so much more helpful to have you as a friend if you didn't collect all the same toys as me because then I could just throw toys at your kids. But I can't because... Yeah, my kids don't care about the house with them. So. They know. They grew up with so many around them. Right, exactly. It's so many more Scorpnox. I'll be happy if I'm going to get Sandstorm and the toy colors and hopefully double punch at some point. It's going to be great. For this one, uh, we're getting the orange repaint in the Golden Disney mm-hmm. Collection probably in the next month or two sometime soon. The orange which is repaint's cool. fun. Yeah, it's, it's Toy Fair colors oh, from 96, God. which is great. We love that. And they made up a new little story to go with it. So I like that too. It's a dark, weird story, but it's fun. They gave him the crazy battle mask from his card art, which is very strange. Uh, we're also getting a reissue of Tigatron. He's coming out in the, probably also the next month or two. And finally, I want one more. One more Tigatron. This was not announced. It's not a thing. I want the Transmetal Tigatron from the Agent Ravage. Please. 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 Yeah, it does double duty, so I'll take it. I would buy two. Ron says the fossilizers are made to make the G1 figures as powerful as the Beast Wars figures. So there oh, there we go. go. There you go. I could get on board with that. Yeah, it's just such a bummer. Why? Like, I want to pose him at like this angle. So everything else works well, and just that that He's gap in the chest is rough. It's whatever. Yes, it's fine. He's a robot, not a man. But also, he's kind of organic. But also not. It's yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and his obsession with body horror. Cool, like, I don't want to see. Hate him. What did you say, Christian? Your obsession with body horror has made th- made me see things that I normally wouldn't see. Right. I'm glad. I tried to help. <laughs> it hurt <laughs> at the same time. So- I will say he actually has double um double elbows going on. 
Yeah. Which allows him to hit poses that a lot of figures don't get to. So I like that. I like having ones that can actually bend their elbows up like people do. There you go. So I feel like all of these Beast Wars figures are just kind of meh. Like, I don't feel like that there's any figures in the line that really impress me. Like, I feel like that the majority of the main line that like there's a mix of like there's a few where you're like, ah, it's OK, it's fine, whatever. And then there's like a mix of like, oh, this is good. And then like you get some other ones, where you're like, man, this is really good. And I don't feel like that there's any of the Beast Wars figures that came out that were like, man, this is this is really good. Air Razor. Yeah. Okay, maybe. But I but my theory on that is is twofold. I think one, the original Beast Wars toys were pretty good. And yeah, just not and so that's that's yeah. part of it is is like the upgrade from G one to whatever they have now is like pretty significant, right? Whereas like that isn't and then the other thing is is that the majority of these toys had masterpiece versions that came out first. And I don't know. I mean, to me, I, I just feel like if you're a Beast Wars fan, like, why do this? Like, unless you had just have an extreme budget limitation, like, I would just do the Masterpiece. I just feel Christian, like... Christian, defend yourself. I know. I'm, I don't like the Masterpiece figures. They're over-engineered. I, I, I know, I know, I know. But, man, they looked at... Like, sure I they do. Feel like I hate them. I Beast hate Wars. messing with all of them. I've sold Masterpiece Optimus Primal four times now. That was an absurd number of times to, to buy and sell a figure. It's absurd. I get I it. Only heard good things about Masterpiece Tigatron, though. He's also two hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, he's very expensive. See, that's the thing is, is I was originally in on the Masterpiece Beast Wars when they were like a hundred bucks, but. Yeah, it's like, and obviously the Tigatron and and you know Dinobot and those are like bigger figures. Yeah, Tigatron is huge. Like that's a really big figure. Sure. It looks really nice. But for me, like when that came out, I remember seeing it and thinking, like, wow, no, that is a really nice figure. Like I need that in my collection. I looked yeah. at the price and I was like, honestly, Tigatron didn't make an impression on me very strongly in Beast Wars. Like for some reason or another, I don't know why. Um, he didn't make a strong of his impression. I think probably by the time I really got into it, he wasn't as big of a character anymore. So something like that. Um, but anyway, so when I was thinking about like, do I really want a, a figure that expensive for a character that I wasn't that into? No, not really. Do I want to figure this expensive for a character I wasn't that into? Yes. And I'd say they're both respectively good. So that's why I settled for this personally, even though I have a lot of Beast Wars MP. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is that, you know, somehow I enjoy the main line of G1 and I, I get excited by those figures. I don't really get excited by these, but I really enjoy the Masterpiece Beast Wars figures. And like, if I had any kind of nostalgia for them, I would be collecting that. Um, you know, because I think, I don't know, like I, I really like those and I think that they are the best, like if I was going to pick a masterpiece line, I actually really like those probably the best. I really do like them. They're just not fun to transform. Like Christian said. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. agree. <clears throat> that was my decision on them at the end of the day. I had to decide yeah. that, yeah, I really do collect toys and not necessarily, you know, upper scale collectibles so that's why i went with uh, so story about masterpiece uh megatron uh beast wars megatron so mm. uh aaron brought one that he had uh bought off of someone else um you know so aaron, aaron's a dealer to to tfcon and so like literally we had spent like i don't even know how much time like i was sitting there trying to transform it like because essentially it was like someone had bought it and was like, I can't transform this. And it was just like, here, take it kind of thing. Right. So I tried to get it into uh, the dino mode to put it in the box and, and whatnot. So you could sell it. And I'm sitting there and I, I got it almost, but not quite. 
and then I like hand it off to Peter and he kind of gets, he's like fiddling with it and whatnot. And then like hand it to Serge and Serge is trying to like, and I don't know, apparently like, I, I don't know what his excuse was, why he couldn't do it. But like all of us, like, like we had it close, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite quite there and so finally somebody like we kept fiddling with it and of course someone sees us fiddling with it it's like oh i want that and like buys it off of us and i'm just like here <laughs> like here. <laughs> here's the box over here here's the figure like take it you know yeah but that sounds right though like like it really is that complex of a figure to transform beautiful figure but it I is. hated every really second cool. of doing that. And I was like, I, I, this is, this needs to be gone. It, 100%. it does pain me to think of the fact that that thing has been downstairs on one of my shelves in the same pose for like a year now. Like, I just, I don't mess with that. It's really cool. Like most of those, it's the same thing as like some of those, like that fans toys cup you've got and whatnot. It's like, you know, you can put them in dynamic poses and whatever. It's like, just don't ever transform them. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is the fate of that cup as well. It's like he goes and poses, but I haven't even posed the Megatron lately. I need to mess with him again. It's pretty. Yeah. So anyway, we're here talking about a different Tron, Tigatron, and we all seem to like him. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's fine. Yeah, I'd say like buy with caution at this point, just because I do think there will be an all white version. Yeah, it seems inevitable. I don't know when it will come out or where, but it, it feels like it will probably. If you That's could true. not deal with the potential regrets of having to buy this on the secondary market to get one at all, it's probably worth it to get it now just to just They're to be careful. Up. I've seen a I bunch mean, in the past couple of days. I am hunting curious, so I do feel like that this is the perfect time that he will go on clearance. Yeah, Maybe that's I'm true. completely wrong, but I feel like a lot of times toys usually go on clearance like right after like whatever's left in the toy aisle goes on clearance. And I I feel like the fact that he's packed in way four and five that he may potentially at least when legacy starts showing up. So I, I may be completely full of crap on that. Maybe he's, you know, going to fly off shelves, but uh no, you might be right because ten stores tend to just put all transformers on clearance, like right after Christmas, even if they're like stocking yeah. them. So I can see even some blasters going on clearance kind of by accident. You know, it's just like, oh, we opened the box. It's going on the all Voyagers are, right. you know, 20% clearance. So I don't know. I feel like that the only figures really like were transformers that shell form are the leader class figures. Um, mm -hmm. because like, I feel like a lot of times they get in like three cases at once and then it's just really hard to move those like big $50 figures. Um, I whereas, haven't seen like, any in like months. Deluxes. What's that? Leaders? I haven't seen any leaders in months. Oh, see, I don't know. Like recently when, when I went out a couple places, like I saw a ton, but again, I, I feel like in general transformers that all the shipments like just came in for transformers. So it's like one of the few things when you go to the toy aisle is actually well stocked right now yes. because, uh, because they got their shipment in of it like right before Christmas. Yeah. Uh, no, not here. <laughs> oh, well here they did. So you can get your beast wars reissues here. That's about it. Red. Nope. Really? Wow. No red. Yeah, I think people have been posting pictures that they've been finding knockout now. I would love to find a knockout. So I think it's time to start looking out. There you go. So do you actually want him? So yeah, this tiger trying to school. It would be better without the brown. We all agree with that. Like I don't think there's I don't think there's anyone out there who's like, oh man, I'm so happy they put this brown discoloration on him. Like it totally just like makes his legs just pop. Like I don't think anyone said that other than me just now in, in satire mode. So I have heard that you can remove it with rubbing alcohol, just like you can with the yep. battle damage, but you'll also remove the stripes if you're not super careful. Which is not a great thing. 
And I will say, like, just I feel like I have to say this because I live with an all white quadruped and he does, in fact, get little brown splotches in his fur. And but they blend into his fur, right? Like they they blend color wise in a nice, like normal way. And he also does get dirty sometimes and kind of gets some brown discoloration. But none of it looks like this. Not even a little bit where it's just like, you know, solid pieces of him are brown where the rest of him is white. I'm talking about my dog, for those of you who think I live in some other form of all white quadruped. Yeah, so, it's, like, it's an unfortunate choice. I, I think I Lucas is right where they needed. You know. There you go. I, I think Lucas is right where they just they needed to add another couple paint applications to be like, yes, this is now the budget and we have to have this many paint things. Just, yeah. just leave it off. Yeah, I or think paint for the me, turquoise molded parts with the turquoise metallic paint. Do that. Do that instead. I'm having this problem with a lot of recent figures. A lot of them kind of hit the uncanny valley for me where they're almost perfect, yep. but therefore their fillings just stick out to me so much more. It's like, man, he's a really good, you know, animation accurate Tigatron from straight forward. He looks great. And then you turn him a little and I'm like, oh, God, it just fell apart. Or you zoom in on the face and you're like, he has no expression, but he's a person and it falls apart. So I think that's why. This is the genius of Hasbro now, though, is they release stuff like that. And then they're like, hey, you know what? we're going to release a slightly remolded, repainted version in six months to a year, and then you're going to want that one just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I think that's that's what they're doing to us these days. I totally get that. Yeah. But he's pretty cool. Like, we haven't got a Tigatron figure in a long time. If you like Tigatron, he's a good Tigatron. I think the last one we got was 20 years ago. Yep. Oh, no, Telemoka. 15 years ago. Sorry. Still a long time. Yeah, because he's he's not a minor enough character that we should have had to wait that long to get a new Tigatron, but here he is. Yeah. And he's competent. Cheetor suffered for his competence. That's that's true. Yeah. Alright, well, do we have anything to say or should we wrap here? Happy New Year. We'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next year. Right? Tigatron does not look good riding Shadow Panther. I don't I think, think I should have done it would. the other way around. Probably. I yeah. Um, I, I do want to mention that we are going to have another pre record uh, this upcoming week. We have another interview um, with. Uh, um, what's. I like just blanked on the name, Sam, Sam from, uh, so he used to work at devil's do and now he runs a, uh, a toy store in uh, Chicago. And so we talked to him about all of that stuff. So, uh, we'll be posting some promos for that and everything, uh, coming up. It's a really fun episode. Um, we had, uh, you know, full, full cast with that, uh, that we recorded the other night. Um, so, uh, so check that out um on monday night so and then next week for microcasters are we are we gonna do try to do uh the the masterpiece skids hopefully we can i'm up for it i know we were talking about doing doing that um i know rob said he at least had reboots so i don't know hopefully if rob and uh phil are both available i know that uh both of them have um have skids so it would be good. Cool. I get to take a week off then. Spoiler alert. It's a good figure and I own it. <laughs> it made, uh, yeah, I was going to say it made Phil's top five figures of the year. So there you go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Episode. Yeah. Oh, you didn't watch that episode, Anna? No. Hmm. That was during you Great Apocalypse. You didn't hear all the, uh, the references that we made about you during the show. So. Oh. No, I missed it. I'm trying during I'm trying Great Apocalypse. You guys didn't exist, nor did the rest of the world. Nothing yeah. existed except for my computer. My in laws were not happy about that. <laughs> it was happy holidays. Uh, it is. It's uh, you know, it's a simpler transformation and it's cheaper. So 
but it is no it's definitely exactly we'll get there next time we'll I'm, talk about I'm, it. I'm waiting for the mini masterpiece myself so <laughs> anyway. all right well thank you guys uh for joining me tonight thanks to everyone to the chat thanks to uh to rob thanks to Catherine. thanks to randall uh thanks to ron uh appreciate it guys it was a lot of fun hey, Catherine. And we will see Look you next week. yeah there you go i had to show Catherine.